All right, this is video four from the Kindling Solo Exhibition. We just looked at the tree forms and now we're going to look at the map tracing series. The statement for this series reads as such. The map tracing series documents the inherent risks of the heedless extraction, transportation, and processing of fossil fuels in North America. Contours of these forms are derived from areas affected by major accidents involving oil rig ruptures, coal ash spills, oil train derailments, and mountaintop removal. The work serves as a record of these ever-increasing incidents and illustrates how our reckless consumption of non-renewable resources is resulting in unprecedented poisoning of the soil, water, and air. I limit my palette to earth tones, near black, and white porcelain to symbolize the purity of the natural elements becoming disfigured by these practices. This work is evidence of a culture that places profit and greed over the health of the environment and the safety of the people. Okay, let's spin around here. So we'll first look at this piece on the wall. Piece number four, this piece is in is titled Deep Water and it is about the BP oil rig rupture that happened in the Gulf of Mexico where the oil rig leaked for 87 days. Um, I got these map forms from satellite images so this is the epicenter of the or the location of the oil rig. And these forms kind of show, you know, week one, week two, week three, et cetera, of the currents carrying the oil slick through the Gulf of Mexico around uh, the tip of Florida and it went all the way up to New England. Um, so, and this is New Orleans approximately here. So that's where those forms came from. I like that you can see the, uh, neurology pieces in the background that's pretty cool but it is uh, made from the black um, plexi so that the viewer sees their own reflection in there meant to be you know identifying our own individual role that we play in the um, demand for oil and fossil fuels in general so this is black stoneware inlaid into white porcelain side view here. All right, moving on. So this piece is titled Downstream. It is about coal ash pond ruptures. So coal ash is a byproduct of the coal industry and there is a toxic byproduct that is held in ponds and due to lack of oversight and regulation and corruption, um, the coal plants are not properly um, inspected and it's very frequent that these ponds rupture and release thousands of gallons of toxic sludge into the waterway, waterways and uh, vast watersheds of Appalachia and these maps are from coal ash spills in Tennessee, Georgia, North Carolina um, and I think that might be it. Um, and the communities that are most impacted ironically are the coal mining families um, and low-income communities. The water becomes toxic to the touch and obviously uh, is not no longer potable. So it's also porcelain and tan stoneware and black stoneware. And the pattern mimics the swirling of the um, coal ash on top of the water. All right, we'll do this one in two parts just to make it not terribly long.